what is it, drinks water once a week, withstands dry weather well, and can't tolerate more than one glass of water at a time. If you identified with this, be careful, because the answer was a cactus. But unlike cactus, we humans need a lot of water to stay alive. In this video, you will discover the ideal amount of water you should drink, the harms of dehydration, and whether the idea of drinking 2 liters of water per day makes sense. We'll also provide you with several tips on what the color of your urine can indicate about whether you're becoming dehydrated. After all, do you really need that much water? What is the function of water in the body? Let's imagine John, a man weighing 70 kilograms, who has approximately 40 liters of water in his body. That's two gallons of water inside him. This proportion remains very close to 70 to 80 percent of body weight in men, women, and children. 40 percent of John's body water is outside the cells, distributed throughout the organs and making up the liquid part of the blood. Without it, the blood would be viscous and unable to transport nutrients quickly. The water outside the cells is also responsible for forming urine and eliminating toxins from the body. The other 60% of water is inside the cells, diluting nutrients and enabling the metabolism of the molecules that keep us alive. Water is also found in lesser-known places with unexpected functions, such as joint fluid, which absorbs the impact of the bones. Without Without this fluid, it would be extremely painful for John to make any movements. But one of the most important functions of water, related to how much water you need to drink per day, is its ability to control body temperature. John is enjoying the beach and has been lying in the sun for hours. Neurons that make up his internal thermometer detect that the temperature is rising. A structure called the hypothalamus, located in the brain, perceives this increase and signals the sweat glands to eliminate fluids to cool the body. John then starts to sweat, releasing the heat from inside the body into the environment. The body's temperature alert systems trigger muscle tremors to generate heat, and the body stops producing sweat desperately retaining water. Sweating is responsible for a significant portion of the liquid loss we experience throughout the day. The more you sweat, the more water you need to replenish. A healthy adult can lose up to 900 ml of water per day just through sweat. And if that adult is an athlete, this loss can reach up to 2 liters per hour. Remember this information because it will be essential to calculate the appropriate amount of liquid a person should consume. Another way to lose fluids is through urine. A healthy adult can lose 1 to 2 liters of water per day just in urine. This happens because every day, the kidneys function as a filter, ensuring that everything is in the right concentration in the bloodstream. When you take a multivitamin without having a deficiency in vitamins, Vitamins, the excess of your A to Z compound will be eliminated in urine. That's why nutritionists say you're flushing money down the toilet if you take supplements unnecessarily. In addition to sweat and urine, the body also eliminates fluids through feces and even through breathing. Regardless of which method you lose more water through, one thing is certain. How much water you need to drink will vary depending on what you lose. Just as we have a thermometer for internal temperature, we also have one that measures hydration. When the cells of the hypothalamus detect a lack of water, the brain sends a signal that you perceive as thirst, dry mouth, headache, fatigue, that general weakness, you know. At the same time that your body asks for water, it releases hormones like antidiuretic hormone, which reduces the elimination of water in urine. The urine becomes darker and more concentrated. That's why, for example, the first morning urine is darker than the rest of the day because throughout the night, you don't replenish the water you lose through breathing and sweating. So, what does your morning urine look like, and how about during the day? Comment below. At this point, you already have almost all the information you need to figure out how much water you should be drinking. Are the famous 2 liters per day enough? The quantities vary greatly from person to person, and yes, in some situations, 2 liters may be more than enough, but in most cases, 
2 liters are insufficient. To determine the ideal amount of water a person should drink, researchers measured the amount of water lost per day in 5,604 people. In addition to the high number of participants, which adds quality to the study, they also managed to include people with a wide range of habits from 26 different countries, which helps correct cultural and water consumption differences. In other words, it's a very relevant study, considering that the recommendation to drink 2 liters of water was based on generic studies with few volunteers and was not suitable for everyone. And the result of how much water you should drink per day is. This equation means that how much water you should drink takes into account your level of physical activity, body weight, gender, the humidity of where you live, the altitude of your city, whether you're an athlete, your age, and the temperature of the environment. All of this to determine how much water you lose, to estimate more accurately how much fluid you should consume. Yes, scientists have made an equation for this. Two liters may be ideal for a woman with moderate physical activity who lives in a temperate climate, just as it can be too much for the same woman who lives in a cold place and is sedentary. And finally, these same two liters may be far too little for a male athlete living in Florida. Get it? The research do not criticize the recommendation of 2 liters of water per day at any point. However, it is impossible to say that 2 liters are the ideal amount for everyone, as the results of the article show that water losses can vary from 1 to 4 liters. Furthermore, the article emphasizes the importance of replenishing fluids according to what is lost, both through food and liquid beverages. After all, some foods, such as fruits and vegetables, can contain up to 90% scent water in their composition, as is the case with cucumber and melon. If a person consumes plenty of fruits and vegetables, they can meet up to 50% of their recommended fluid intake from food. One thing is certain. All the findings in this article provide valuable data for gradually updating and making nutrition guidelines more individualized and accurate. But if you don't want to keep a calculator by your side, a simple way to figure out how much water you need to drink is to follow the recommendation from the Institute of Medicine in 2006. This recommendation suggests that we should consume at least 35 ml of water per kilogram of body weight. Do the calculation for yourself. But please note, people with a high level of physical activity, who lose more water through sweat, may need to replenish even more, up to 50 ml per kilogram of body weight. Since 2006, this recommendation already differentiated the amount of fluids based on your weight, age, and sex, and proposed different goals for pregnant women and breastfeeding women since they lose more water. And now that you've given your like, to wrap up this video on a high note, I'm going to give you 7 quick tips so that you no longer have trouble drinking the right amount of water. Number 1. Trust your body. It is equipped with sensors that retain or eliminate water when necessary. If you don't meet the recommendation water intake for a day, you won't die from it. Number 2. Pay attention to the signals your body gives. Thirst is not silent. It is usually accompanied by a dry mouth, dry skin, headache, fatigue, and even dizziness. If you feel these symptoms daily and only take a few sips of water throughout the day, sound the alarm and keep a water bottle on your work desk. Number 3. Observe the color of your urine. It's common for the first morning urine to be more concentrated, with a deep yellow color. Ideally, as the day progresses, it should become lighter, almost transparent. If it remains dark throughout the day, you can be sure that you need more water. Oh, and if it has different colors like brown, green, pink, black, or foamy, consult a doctor to investigate what might be happening. Number 4. Prioritize fresh foods and go easy on processed ones. Most fresh foods are more hydrating. They contain more water than processed ones, which tend to be calorie dense and have less water. In particular, focus on consuming a variety of fruits and vegetables as they will help hydrate your body. Number 5. Although drinks like juices and sodas also contribute to hydration, relying on caloric beverages can significantly increase your daily calorie intake, leading to weight gain. So, it's better to get used to plain water. If you don't drink anything, start by taking a few sips throughout the day, like a glass in the morning, and so on. Number 6. 
Don't rely 100% on drinks with diuretic effects. Coffee, mate, and diuretic teas like horse tail, green tea, and hibiscus contribute to hydration. However, they also have a diuretic effect, signaling the body to produce more urine and release more water. So, they don't hydrate in the same way as pure water. Number 7. Use the formula of 35 to 50 ml per kilogram of body weight to determine how much liquid you should ingest and prioritize filtered water to reach that goal. If you have different lifestyle habits than usual, such as starting an exercise routine, it's ideal to consult a nutritionist to calculate this individually for your case. There is no one-size-fits-all formula, but one thing is for sure, you're not a cactus, so you need water to survive. If you constantly feel tired, the first thing to consider is hydrating properly before suspecting other nutrient deficiencies, and consult a nutritionist to always have support for your decisions and avoid getting into fat diets. A big thanks, go fill up your water bottle, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay healthy, stay happy.